Hey everyone, here's a look at our glitch effects, our real glitch textures pack sourced and recorded on a CRT monitors. These simply use real glitch effects are the perfect touch to add retro glitch looks and transitions to your video and photo content. All modular assets are in 4K resolution and the pack is compatible with all photo and video editing software, Photoshop, Illustrator, Premiere Pro, After Effects, FCP, DaVinci, everything. Using these glitch textures, I'm gonna walk you through how easy it is to make a realistic glitch effect in Premiere Pro. So let's drop in. As always, if you're new here, consider subscribing to join the community. Leave a like, it helps us out big time with the YouTube algorithm and comment below what you would like to see next. So we have our volume one and volume two glitch effects packs here. And in volume one, you're going to get 58 glitch textures along with 40 sound effects and a little over 190 screen grabs in high resolution that you can add to Photoshop and Illustrator to add glitch looks to your images. Um, and then in volume two, same folder structure, we got 58 glitch textures here and we got 135 sound effects. So there's definitely a lot more sound effects in volume two and the still images in high resolution get a little over 200 images to add to your photos. So let's jump into Premiere Pro. I'll show you how to create a really nice glitch effect using these and a few other free effects. So the first thing we got are our clips here in the timeline of this hacker, and I wanna add some glitch transitions. So first thing is I'm gonna add are a, an adjustment layer. I'm gonna trim this down, I'm gonna do three one, two, three frames on the front end, and then one, three frames on the back end on our adjustment layer. I'm gonna click on that, and in our effects control panel, I'm gonna add VR digital glitch. This is gonna give us some of that chromatic aberration along with some other digital glitch effects that you will be able to control here in your distortion tab. I'm going to, so your color distortion is what will show like the level of chromatic aberration that you would like to add into the clip. And I typically keep that at about 50. I think that looks pretty nice. Geometry distortion X is gonna be zero and distortion complexity and distortion rate kind of work in unison. I'm going to keep distortion complexity at about 35 and I'm going to remove, completely drop out the distortion rate to remove some of that artifacting that they have. But you can keep that in if you want to, that's totally your choice. And then what we're gonna control here is actually we're gonna scroll to the front of the clip, click on the stopwatch right here for master amplitude. And that's gonna give us at the 100 value. I'm gonna move this over three frames. And I'm gonna click on the keyframe icon and the front of this is gonna be zero. So then three frames forward at the height of the transition, we have that at a value of 100, and then we're gonna to scroll to the end, set another keyframe, click zero. So that will give us this little VR glitch effect right in here. It's pretty subtle right now and that's okay. And then next we're going to go to our glitch textures folder, and let's go ahead and grab a few different assets there. Uh, I'm gonna start with Let's see what Glitch Texture 05 looks like. That looks cool, I like it. So I'm going to drag it down on top and put it under my adjustment layer and just grab the part that I want to use. Let's make sure also that this is set to frame size. And then change that to 50. And I want to use that part and that part of the glitch texture transition. Drop it over top of your footage, click on it, go to your opacity section in your blending mode and go ahead down to color dodge. So that's looking really nice, I like that. The beautiful thing about these textures is that you can just keep layering them to get however much of a distortion look you would like. I'll go ahead and let's try another glitch texture. What about this one? That one's really cool, I like it. 
drag that into the timeline. Once again, set to frame size and that should be at 50 and then change the blending mode to color dodge. And, and as you can see, we are just stacking and layering these a little offset. So it gives you that really nice kind of organic, real glitch effect directly on your footage. That's looking super clean. And then lastly, let's go ahead and add in maybe, I love this kind of snow and just this analog overlay. Once again, change the blending mode to color dodge. And with this one, that's pretty heavy look. I'm gonna scale it back down to 50. And I'm also gonna change the opacity so that I am decreasing the strength of that kind of static, just giving it a little bit more of that kind of analog look. 20%, sweet, let's see how that's looking. Yeah, that's looking really nice, beautiful. So that's how you can really level up your glitch transitions and make it look real. So have fun with this. We highly recommend checking out our VHS effects pack with over 200 additional analog textures and glitch effects, static noise to create the perfect CRT and videotape effect. This glitch effects pack and the VHS pack really complement each other well. So have fun with this. Thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.